Good morning, guys. It is the 4th of September today. Um, we are just on, we are up north, Ashton and I. Ashton isn't with me, she's bringing another truck down. We are heading down um, to the confines here this morning. So we tested the barley yesterday, it was about 18.1, which is obviously too tough because dry is 14.8. And unfortunately, it's not just rain tough, it's green tough, which makes things a little bit more complicated. Anyways, we're hoping to get a bit of a demo today. No, nope, not of a combine, but that of a swather. So let's go down and see what kind of trouble we can get ourselves into here. So the trucks are my father-in-law's. He's allowing us to use his truck and trailer, so that's awfully nice of him. And then there's the swather. All right, so we got a 40-foot uh, head here. We got Todd, he's my sales guy. So this has the reverse station. So that way he can road it um, backwards. So again, I'm fairly new to Swathers, so to me that seems foreign, but it seems like a really good idea, I guess. This is basically the Mac Don John Deere version. Has the John Deere engine, I believe. John Deere integrated guidance system, which they didn't come with. So we got some relics up there that we're gonna try and make work. So don't be confused. John Deere makes their own swather. It's called the W235, I do believe, and the W260, I think it is. Um, completely different design, totally different. And they do have their own John Deere heads. This is a Mac Don uh, painted green with John Deere components. Okay? Don't be confused. We're gonna hook this puppy up. Not to put any pressure on Todd here. <laughs> but first, it's important to drop the weight box. Okay, we're unhooked. Hope we can pick that back up again. Oh yeah. Do we need these for the header then? Well, we'll just hold on to them then. We'll find out. So we have to be patient with Todd here because he's never picked up a header, I don't believe. And of course I haven't either, so. It's a learning curve. But it looks pretty straightforward. No pressure, Todd. You got this, buddy. You got this. And that's Mick. Yeah, I'll go, I'll go get him. wondering about that. I better run these pins over to Mick here. There you go. 
So Mick, he actually works with Todd as well with uh, Fattest and Egg. So uh, I'm just waiting for direction to put my pin in. They're just trying to hook up the three point. Yeah, looks like they got it hooked up. There. I have no idea. I am not a swather guy, but I'm about to learn. And I'm actually looking forward to it. All right, I got my pin in. Right there, and then one on the other side. So we are locked up. They're just gonna hook up the quick couplers, just like a combine. Then he's gonna pick it up, and then we'll probably change these uh, wheels around a little bit. Oh, Ashton showed up. There's Ashton, of course, giving directions. She's awesome. She hasn't have a lot of Mac done experience though. She's got some. There's our multi-point couplers that we gotta put on. Picking it up. It's like trial and error. Like, what does this do? <laughs> I feel like I should be doing something over here. Mike, put your camera down and start working here. Okay, so I just uncoupled it from there. And this just whole thing, just watch yourself there. I don't want to. I don't want to hit anybody. So we just twisted this. Yeah, it just was over twist, here. Twist, you twist it back. Do you want to watch it? There. Oh. There, just like that. Perfect. Then this couples in here. Should we lower this then? Yeah, I think so. That way it makes it a little easier. Yeah, otherwise we'll have to lift this up. Pull that pin. Oh, there goes some skin. Oh, yeah. There. That, that guy goes back in through right there. The whole... All right, I got my way uh, around this monitor. It actually worked pretty good. It's not like it's a touch screen. So uh, you see how they have uh, A, in the top left corners is A, F, B, C. So since it's not touch screen, Instead of using this dial to always try and get to where you want to go, uh, you can just hit A, B, C, D, E, F, G, F, just for quick reference. So we're ready to go. The monitor, we got our angles in there. And uh, yeah, I think it's gonna be actually a pretty dang good monitor. Okay, I'm gonna get the heck out of Dodge here so Ashton can take over. And we'll hop back in at a later time. We're not ready without hooking up our single points. <laughs> oh my God. Single points, here's one, here's two, there's two. Hold on, I, got, I can't record this. You know what, they need to paint this a different color. This needs to be yellow, red, anything for us noobs. Cause this thing pulls right out of the way. And that's why this rubber's on here. Just like that. This doesn't hit your window. No, we did not open the manual. And no, we did not open the manual because we were determined <laughs> determined that we were going to figure this out. <laughs> okay. Okay. This little guy, he goes right there. Oh, actually, my bad. Like that. There it is. Done.
so close. Oh man, this has been a lot of fun. This has been fun, Mick. This has just been a learning experience. Yeah, we have. Yeah, we're still doing good. We do have Aston as our ace in the hole here. She's gonna just basically just check to see if it, how everything works. Oh, it's quiet. Very quiet. Awesome. We don't know how these shields come off yet. We tried, we tried. Okay, I'm gonna run up there. Okay. We're just gonna go and play around with our header settings here. We're by no means ready to go. We just need to figure out what draper speeds we need for this stuff. We need to figure out our reel speeds, our header heights, you know, all that fun stuff. Oh, I just hit my head on that. Oh, wow. That is a little low. And I'm not even that tall. finally got into a field here instead of we're just kind of messing around with a little bit of odds and ends that we were leaving we're still trying to figure this thing out and get it set is what we're doing I think we're getting it to where we want it we're having trouble getting it to float here a little bit even though we keep adjusting the sensitivity of the float 
on the going again. We've been tinkering with this thing for a long time, trying to get our settings right, and I think we're close. This is a 40-foot header. I don't know if I said that. We just didn't have stuff adjusted right, and we had to go into the settings and do a bunch of settings and stuff, but now I think we're finally getting where we want to be. So, as I said before, we're just out here cutting some low areas, some slews. We might cut one field yet, we'll see. Because this is really green, obviously, and that's just going to take like a month or two before it ever comes in. So we're just going to knock it down and be done with it. The rest, I kind of still hope to straight cut. Maybe they all do, but, hold on. This one uh, shows the uh, pressure of the knife to let you know if it's getting too hard to cut. It's a uh, knife break, it's a little bit before you break the knife. I kinda wish our combine said that. Believe that, believe it. So this spot right here, where there's no crop, is a high salinity area, which means it's high in salts, because there's too much water pushing up. And as you guys know from back home, high salinity areas grow nothing but kosher. Guess we better get out of the way here. Our barley is quite short this year, but remember we did roll it. These things, we have them at home too. They're freaking annoying. I didn't remember the name of them. 
they're growing in that slough. So, again, we're out cutting sloughs, so. And you know, you know my hate for weeds. all this green. It just stays. Doesn't move much? No. Oh, sorry about that guys. I guess this windshield's in three pieces, eh? It's quiet in here. Seems like you're doing a really nice job cutting. How's it how's it doing for floating? Drops fast. I don't know about that steering wheel just going like crazy, just waving to you all day long. Like they always do that. Do they? Maybe because they're going against the runs. Looks like it's doing a really good job though. Wow, just shoving it through there. So you got a windshield wiper back here, eh? Maybe it's because your seat reverses, or seat does a, a whole loop with the steering wheel, obviously. Oh yeah. I want to run this thing at night too and see how the lights work on this thing, obviously. Oh, how's our horn? Use it there and Not bad. Ran you over. Not bad. Okay, I would have bounced. I would have bounced off your header. I was actually holding on your uh, signal light so that way I could run easier and still record. The beeping just tells you when you're close to the line. That's all that. That's all that John beeping does. Right, because it tells you that you're close to the line. Pretty nice in here. It's a nice looking well, crop. It's beautiful. Green, but awesome. Oh, well, it doesn't really matter because we're not going to wait forever. It's got to go down. Cutting almost five mile an hour, then. Do that? It's not bad. At this speed. Wait. Oh, you're going slow. Okay, fair enough. So we are currently running in eco mode, which means we're about 1,880 RPM. I said it to that. Otherwise, I think uh, 2,300 is full RPM. So you can't get the full speed out of your canvases, but we don't really need it. It's just quieter. We like quieter. One thing that this thing does have is it has reversible fan, blow off all the stuff, the chaff on your radiator. That's nice. Oh, I gotta be careful. Man. Jump me right off of here. Open it up. 
the walk. It's just that it's the seeds off whatever that dandelion or whatever the crap that stuff is. Basically like dandelion seeds. I just realized it's got a ladder on both sides and doors on both sides. I didn't notice that before. <laughs> I guess this is our last little spiffle here, so we better get back on board. Almost fell off that time. Now where, ma'am? Let's go find a washout to cut out. All right, here's our washout. We're gonna cut this thing to snakes its way through the entire field. So we're gonna cut it out because there's some weeds, some kosher weeds, lots of salinity in here. And do you think you can move that windshield wiper? There's always a windshield wiper in our way, always. You know what, that's okay. I'm just gonna step out. Don't worry about it, it's all good. two shocks on there to kind of keep your wheel straight or oh we got we got mud having some trouble here uh, so the ground's muddy so the minute that that skid pad touches ground it instantly wants to start pushing mud on this side. Ashton won't be expecting it. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Okay. Very funny. Very funny, Mike. <laughs> oh, she's not impressed. She's not impressed. Oh man. I love my wife. What was that? <laughs> oh, my bad. I just wanted to know if you were still paying attention and everything. I guess we just wanted to, you know. If I'm in the zone. If you're in the zone. And? You're in the zone. We were, we were scared to get back in here with you. We're not going to lie. Well, I was. Maybe they weren't, but... See, I think this is the middle of it here. I can tell. I can tell. Just kick over just a little bit. Be a little easier. There you go. Oh, straighten it out, yeah. Just like that. I was trying to get in the middle of the yellow. So you can see it? Right over there? Now, this is all going to straight back. Well, I'm glad that we're cutting down all this kosher weed.
Adiós.